Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. We were out recently for dinner with a small group of friends, and when it came time for dessert, the waiter came over and he said, I'll tell you what our specialty is. It's the Mile High New York Style Cheesecake. Well, everybody's like, oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, I love, you know, blah, blah. I'll take one. I'll take one. I'll split one with you. Came around to me and I said, I'll just have a small scoop of vanilla ice cream if you don't mind. Well, there was silence. And being really good friends, they just ripped me to shreds. What? What's wrong with you? You have no taste. What is your problem? And they, they just, you know, gave me a really hard time. And so I took it upon myself to solve the cheesecake problem on my own. about those big fat pieces of cheesecake is there's too much cheese in it. You know, you're eating it, it just like coats the roof of your mouth. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't like that at all. So, I'm going to add much less cheese, but they'll still be delicious. So I'm gonna start with the crumb topping. This is a quarter of a cup of brown sugar packed. I'm gonna mix in half a cup of regular sugar. Then, one cup of graham cracker crumbs. And six tablespoons of melted butter. And you know, actually I find that if you mix it with your fingers uh, and you can feel it, you can get that consistency much tighter than with a spoon. Okay, that feels good. So I want to reserve about a cup's worth for the top. I'm going to take the rest, put it into an 8 by 8 pan, well, most of it, spread it around evenly, and then press down flat with your fingers. We'll pop this in a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until it sets. While that's cooking, we're going to make the filling. So this is 8 ounces of cream cheese softened at room temperature. I'm going to blend in a quart of a cup of sugar. You know what? I think this is easier with my hands too. So, I'm going to dive right in. Oh, yeah. In there. Now I'll crack one egg in there. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Two tablespoons of cream. And a teaspoon of vanilla.
Now I can mix it with the spoon. And now the most important ingredient. This is one of those three and a half ounce jars of roasted salted macadamia nuts that I put in my mini food processor. Turn those into some very small pieces. It works out to be almost a cup and a half. And you want to fold those in. You know, it's funny when you think of macadamia nuts, don't you think of Hawaii? Well, they actually didn't originate in Hawaii. They're from Eastern Australia. They've been eating them there forever. And uh, it wasn't until the late 1800s that they started to cultivate them in Hawaii. And you know why they're so expensive? Because they come from a, a big evergreen tree and it takes between seven and ten years for the nuts to grow and mature enough to be picked. And that's why they're so expensive. And in my opinion, it's worth every cent because I love macadamia nuts. Oh, see, it's firm, lightly browned. That was about 13 minutes. So that's good. Now, we put together our beautiful macadamia filling on there. sprinkle the rest of this graham cracker topping over it. And back in the oven for about 25 minutes. Okay, 25 minutes has passed and it's nicely browned and then if you just sort of touch it, it, it it's tender but it's not soupy. So then you know it's done. Now here's the key. You have to let it cool down entirely before you can attempt to cut it into little squares. So we're going to do that and you can help it along in the refrigerator too. Macadamia cheesecake squares. Don't forget, store these in the refrigerator because of the cream cheese. so tasty. I love the macadamia nuts. I love the graham cracker topping. These are, these are not mile high cheesecake slabs. I should call these half inch cheesecakes. And by the way, I am not going to share these with any of my mean friends. Mm -hmm.